Before you start watching this video, I just want to express that I am not an expert. I'm a rail enthusiast, transit user, and resident in Ottawa. And this is just my take from visual observations as to the current status, what happened, how things look. So enjoy the video. Okay, everybody, this is Shane with Rail Fans Canada. And we're just taking a look at the current situation with the O train. Obviously, most people should know at this point that uh, line one is pretty much closed between Saint Laurent and Tunney's Pasture. There was definitely a fairly significant thunderstorm last night. It's not exactly clear what happened, but from visual inspection, the overhead catenary, which is the power wire that the um, pantograph on top of the train makes contact with to get power has been damaged. Now they say that uh, could have been from lightning. So I, I don't know if lightning hit uh, one of the overhead catenary uh, uh, supports or the wire or it hit the train or it hit, I, I don't know. But from what I can tell you, the wire between, this here is the Queensway overpass just near Lees. Um, the wire from here, all the way through the station of Lees towards the um, Rideau River Bridge towards Herdman, the wire is down on the eastbound side. And what they've done is they've actually, uh, because there's, there's two wires, right? There's the one on the top that supports the energized wire underneath. That's the one underneath here and the one on the top. And as you can see on the eastbound side, there's only one wire there because it's been, it, it's come down. And you can see on the opposite side there, uh, somewhere around here, you can see wire lying on the ground. So that's probably the wire from the overhead uh, power system that has come down. And so what happened here is they've actually uh, installed some chain to help keep the tension on the other line there because it, it, some of these parafills, that's the part that sticks out from the support tower to hold the line. Um, in some spots, you can actually see that it's been twisted because I guess there's tension pulling it back the opposite way, right? So they have the, the snapped cable there. They have um, some chain holding it from both sides to keep it tension so that it doesn't pull and further damage more stuff. So that's pretty much the situation here. And then the other point is really the uh, stopped LRV. It's just stopped uh, across from the TPSS number four. So that's the traction power substation uh, number four. It's just over there towards uh, U Ottawa near uh, the corner of, uh, uh, let's say um, King Edward, Man, Lees. You know the intersection when you get off the highway down there and it's just stopped across from there and across from the Minto rec center of the U Ottawa and uh, can share some pictures later on that but the pantograph that's the arm that sticks up from the top of the train to make contact with the overhead wire one of the uh, two LRVs it has been twisted and bent uh, quite uh, quite a lot and the the uh, contact arm part of it like the the, the flat part there uh, it's completely gone and there's broken wires there so that that's the situation for one of them the other one I don't know if there's damage to that one if it has come off or if it's just been lowered that I can't see but that's pretty much where it stands right now and you, you can see here that uh, You know, there's there's a wire missing, so obviously it's not going to work on the westbound or the eastbound side for a little while now until they effectuate repairs on that. But you know, it doesn't look all that significant. I mean, obviously there's there's it's significant in the sense that stuff has been damaged, but I don't think it was from a train or anything of that nature. I think it more seems like 
it could have been a weather event i don't i don't know i mean we'll just have to wait for more details but uh you know judging by what's happened here if they can lay a new wire retention it fix the parafills that have been uh, bent and set out of alignment a couple days and i did see some alstom technicians working close to where the train was farther up towards you ottawa so uh obviously there's people on the ground working on it as we speak and as again you can see here see how one of them this is the westbound side that's the eastbound side you can see because of the wire being broken the tension pulled it back the other way so that's why it's bent like that but it's on a hinge thing so i mean you just tension it and you can probably it'll probably slip back the other way it's not really a big issue so in that sense that looks worse than it is it's really not really that uh i don't think that's really that big of a deal right there but you know this is the situation and it's quite interesting to see and it'll be interesting to know exactly what transpired once they complete their investigation if it, if it was like a lightning strike or what but uh it's i don't know what to tell you i mean it's really interesting i don't think it was a train that did all this damage i think something happened with the wire or it got struck or i don't know it must have like the only thing i can think of if they're saying lightning it got hit somewhere by lightning somehow maybe and it snapped and then it just got yanked back the opposite way it lost tension and then it got it got pulled back the opposite way and that's why we see like all these snapped points in the wire lying on the ground so hopefully we have some more details in the near future uh but that's pretty much where it stands right now it's quite uh interesting to see but um you know hopefully it's just a couple days before they can get it all uh fixed up and running again there so thanks for watching